This is a poster we created for the movie A Christmas Story. It's using a very specific kind of texture. It's not quite half tones. Uh, it, it is screen printed, but the dots you're seeing here are uh, something called a mesotint, which is a little bit more of like a wormy texture. And we use this a lot in our work. One way to make this is uh, natively within Illustrator. Um, here's an example of a gradient using something like that. Now, this is a combination of a couple effects happening on a gradient, a regular vector gradient. You can see there's grain, poster edges, and torn edges all lined up in that exact order. And these are the exact uh, preferences for each one. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to make that with the gradient that's right here. So what you gotta do is grab a gradient and you're gonna go into Effect, Effect Gallery. And we're gonna go into Texture, Grain. And you want to make sure that we're at 50 and 0. Now that's going to give it kind of a grainy look, but we want this kind of chunky look, so the next two steps are going to get us there. So next we're going to go to Effect and then go into Effect Gallery again. And we're going to go into Poster Edges. So Poster Edges is near the top. That is right here. And that is going to be 0, 1, and 6 we find that that's a pretty good ratio. Now, you can see it's a little bit blurry. We want to clean that up and make it still chunky, but kind of like a bitmapped uh, black and white look. So the last step would be to add a torn edge. And again, this is the last time you have to do this. Go into Effect, and then you're going to go into Sketch, and this is where you can find torn edges. And that is going to be exactly 10 for the image balance, and 15 for the smoothness and 15 for the contrast. And what we get is exactly what we have right here. Now what's kind of cool about this is you can select something like this and go into your graphic styles window and save it as a graphic style. So let's say that we create something like that and we make a whole new gradient, for example. Then we can go into our graphic styles and click it and it automatically turns into what we just created. Now you're probably asking how do you make this colorized? So this is a black and white image that is using those effects. You can actually place it over a color image or color uh, vector shape and then select both items and make a mask out of that by using the transparency panel. So if you click on make mask, then you can actually get a pink color using the shape of your choice. So it's a super versatile thing that looks like it was made in Photoshop, but it's actually all natively made in Illustrator.